everything that I cared about is actually legitimately changing. I wonder if he'll guess what it is. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. It is Wednesday. I've just been getting ready for the day and listening to the What We Said podcast for this week. Took Max on a little ocean stroll and here we are. That's what the day is. I am very hungry. Gonna make breakfast. Wanted to show y'all what my go-to breakfast has been since I've uh, gotten here. And um, then I have a little thrift haul to try on with y'all, which is always fun. So figured that that can be our morning and it's gonna just be like a very chill day today. I have a date night with Jordy. We're going to a really good Mexican restaurant that actually has a Michelin star, but it's like not Michelin prices. So I'm excited to see that. And hello to the planes. Before I make breakfast, I posted this on my Instagram story last night and I feel very validated. So thank you if you're part of the Instagram community, but I bought this lamp at Target yesterday. It was literally the cheapest lamp that Target has. Um, for some reason, cheaper than like table lamps, this floor lamp. But the lighting in here, I'm just incredibly particular, especially at nighttime. There's only like a couple big overhead lights in that one. And I just needed like cozier lighting. So I, I got this to have cozy lighting and I've been carrying it from the den into the bedroom, whichever room I'm like spending time in. And it's been a big game changer. Last night was very cozy vibes. But what I've been doing for breakfast is I'm gonna cut up some fruit. I have some banana. I have, let's see what else do I have. Oh, I have mango, that's fun. And then I have blueberries and raspberries. And I make a little yogurt granola bowl. That's very simple. I have really loved these bowls. They're like plate bowls, so you can like plate everything really beautifully. But all this really is is granola, Greek yogurt, almond butter, honey, and a lot of fruit. So let me show you. I think it's like very tropically inspired since I'm by the ocean, but it's, it has a little bit of protein in the yogurt and carbs and fats and fruits. And I feel like it's pretty well balanced. So I've been enjoying it. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know if this picks up on camera. I can't zoom in any further. Maybe we can crop in, but I see a pod of dolphins out my window. Do you see them? I'm just enthralled. What do you say we do one of my all time favorite things and try on some thrifted clothes. I picked out a couple things from ThreadUp. I am getting to work with them on today's video. So thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this, meaning I have a really good discount code for y'all. Actually better than when I worked with them last time. I've been playing around with online thrifting for a while from ThreadUp. They're basically, that's what they are. They're an online thrift store. And so they're so, <laughs> many things on their website. There are so many things. I have found a lot of things under the revive tab because these are things that came from Rent the Runway. And so they're like super amazing brands, designer basically. And the price points are really good. So that's helped. And actually something else that's really helpful for finding things you like is they created me a landing page and they took all the things I bought today and you can go click on my landing page, see the exact things I bought, and then click shop similar, and it will filter everything similar to what I got. So if you want something kind of along the same lines, that just will do it for you. So I'll let you know the promo code up front. It is Mikkel, just my name, for 35% off your first order. Isn't that so generous? So I'll have that link down below to take you to my landing page and then code Mikkel at checkout to get that discount. Okay, I picked out things at like very different price points, but can I show you the bougiest thing I got first? Cause I am just so eager to try it on. This dress is from a brand called The Great. And this dress normally retails at, I kid you not, $495. And I got it for 98. So it was a splurge, but still so much better than buying it new. I think it's beautiful. It's like this long floral maxi dress. And if it fits, I think it'd be fun to wear it to date night tonight. So I really want to try that one on first. Let's see. Okay, this dress is incredible. It looks a lot like this brand that I've been just kind of stalking online called Christy Dawn that has like very relaxed baby doll, but long style dresses. I love it. It's, I'll show you the full length. It is technically a midi length. It runs a little long though, but I think that that's really fun. It feels like I'll like frolic through field in this. So I really like this one. Yay. 
one other dress just beach linen dress you know that's what i was kind of thinking when i placed this order i got this this is from urban outfitters and it's just such a pretty simple linen dress i feel like in the fall I love having something like this that I can layer a sweater over and then of course it works as itself for the spring so I figured it was very versatile and I love midi length dresses because they're not too short but they're also not too formal. I'm not really into maxi length so this is perfect for me and I can't wait to see how it fits. Here is this one. It fits perfectly like I'm not wearing a bra with it right now and it feels like it has enough support which I'm really excited for and there's pockets. Whenever a dress has pockets I love it. Let me show you the length. Here's where it hits. Can you see that? Boop, right there. And obviously this is perfect as is for summer, but the way that I would style it for fall, a little hack that I have for tucking sweaters is a really tight tank to tuck a sweater into. So do this over the dress. I love cream on cream. Like I love layering light colors. And now it is a really fun, like monochromatic, beachy fall outfit together. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. Then the rest of the things I got are actually all bottoms. I've been not wanting to wear jeans while I'm here. I'm by the beach, jeans sound awful. So I found these, these are like gorgeous linen pants. Oh my gosh, are these new with tag? These are new with tag, I didn't even realize that. I think you can sort by new with tag, but I didn't even realize that I got that. Look at all the new tags. But these retail at $48 and I got them for 21. Also never worn before, which is a great deal. I'm hoping that these fit, but I love the kind of ruched top and the material feels very nice. Here are these linen pants, new with tags. They're almost kind of more jogger style, which is great because the other light pants I have are very loose. And the way I would style this is like I did in that other vlog with like an oversized denim jacket or um, even like an oversized cardigan or something over it to give it like a little bit of balance. It's a good look, right? And then I got two Brandy Melville skirts because I've just realized that I really like styling skirts, especially with a sweater. Like, can you picture actually this skirt with this sweater? Wouldn't that be so cute together? So I got a little corduroy one and I got a little plaid one. We'll try them both on real quick together. I am so glad that this corduroy skirt fits. In case I forgot to mention, it's normally $29 and I got it for $16.99. And I think it's the perfect warm color to go with the cream sweater again. It's kind of nice because I don't have a ton of my clothes here. So it's nice that everything kind of matches <laughs> the couple cream sweaters I have. But here's that same trick of tucking it into a tank. Anything fall, anything corduroy, anything sweater, I'm like, oh yes, this is modern day Nancy Drew. But of course you know I was gonna say that, so, duh. <laughs> and the final skirt. I actually really like this one. It reads a little more fitted all the way through, but it fits me really well. Normally skirts have like a little gaping in the back, but this one's a bit longer than the last one. Like it's actually almost even at my fingertips, which is really nice. And I like the way it looks with the sweater, meaning, Oh, this would look so cute with my new boots. Wait, can we try that real quick? Okay, this is totally a look together. I really like it a lot. I wish it was 10 degrees warmer today so I could wear this one, but I think I might wear one of the dresses tonight, so stay tuned for that. This is, this is really fun. I love getting to try things on. Why don't I love it so much? It's just fun, you know? Thanks to thread up. Uh, Mikkel, 35% off your first order. I'll have the link. This is a goal of mine, a project of mine. It's sweet, Jordy actually got me this because I saw it in a shop and I was like, oh, it's a bee. <laughs> I thought this could be fun to like take somewhere pretty to the water. It is a full embroidery kit. There's the ring, this is the pattern. And I've never embroidered before in my life, so I don't know if I'm gonna be really bad at it, but it ends up looking like this. And I figured that could be really fun. Is it only, okay. All the instructions are just right there. So I better be good at reading instructions. I might just try to get the ring set up and then that way it'll be ready to go whenever I'm ready to try it. Maybe today. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look who it is. What you be doing? <laughs> I be doing this. Come on and tell me hi after a surf. Yeah. Hi, how was your surf? Surf is really, really, really You good. surf for a long time. I surf for a long time. Like two hours. I surf like two hours. Um, some big waves. All I did was get the fabric in it. 
That's great. Hi. Hi. Are you hungry? Yeah. I made Aww. a second one of these. That's a good. That's a good looking fruit bowl. It's my thanks for coming by to say hi. Thanks for coming by to make it. It's a fruit good bowl. with a little splash of milk, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> okay, we are gonna head out on some errands. It's actually Jordy's birthday this weekend, and his family's coming into town tomorrow. And um, I need to wrap his present. We are going to have like a little toast bar or bagel bar on his birthday morning, so I need to get ingredients for that. And then um, his his main present, he knows what it is because it's a custom surfboard. So I wanted to see if there's like any cute little things that I could wrap as a surprise that would just be like, oh, something I didn't expect. And there's a cute shop slash coffee shop. Another one, Oceanside has a lot of these that I have run into once to use their bathroom, but I haven't tried their coffee and um, I haven't shopped there. And it is called Seaborn Coffee. Look at how cute. So what if we just do a double whammy, see if they have any cute gifts and pick up a coffee before the rest of our errands. I just sat down to film over here and I sat in a wet chair. And I got water all over my butt and looks like I peed my pants. Okay, anyways, I was gonna say, that was a success because I got coffee and a couple gifts, but I haven't tried this yet. I'm really excited to give it a try. It's pistachio milk. She's like, do you want a sample? And I was like, I'll go in blind, let's just commit. So this is just a pistachio milk latte. Let's see if it's good. way more subtle than I was expecting but it's really nice I really like it that's fun and then I'll show you what I got as gifts I thought this just looked very cool it is dry gin and pine tar and it smells clean but like kind of earthy kind of masculine but not cologne which I like and then I got him some shower wash and it's surf theme and it's coastal pine and sea salt and can also be used on the hair and body so it's kind of great cruelty free Made in the USA. I think I like it. This was a little conversation that I was having yesterday. And when I was having this conversation, I recognized this could be an interesting thing to share with the vlog as a little car chat. Um, while I still have my pistachio milk coffee, <laughs> it could be a good time to hang out and chat for a bit. And it's about the concept of everything that I cared about is actually legitimately changing which is exciting for me because I feel like there's a difference between like mentally wanting something to change and then like physically in your heart actually feeling what you want change. Mentally for years now, I have wanted to care less about like measurable things and success and work and all that kind of stuff. But I'd be lying to myself if I said that I achieved that. I still very much tied my value to my achievements and my analytics. And I think that's just a very Enneagram three thing to do is we put a lot of our worth into what we achieve and something finally just switched and it shifted and I noticed it during my break during my time off I think I noticed it in terms of just YouTube because YouTube is the primary thing I do it's the thing that I've been working to build for what seven years like historically what I would do is if it was a slow season I would just not even check I would like go on to my YouTube app and close my eyes and like memorize where I'm clicking until I got to where I needed to be because I just didn't want my day to be ruined and I think taking a break this last couple weeks. Um, I knew my analytics were gonna be down because I wasn't posting anything. And I would just check and look at it and be like, cool, yeah. And I actually didn't, I wasn't ready yet to work again. I missed y'all, but normally what goes on in my brain is, oh no, oh no, let's get back to work. Let's get back to building. Let's get back to achieving and succeeding. Like you're, you're a failure right now. I can't wait to get back to it. And I was just so content and just like being with my family. And I thought that was interesting. And I'm just so excited to feel that shift. But the things that I do care about is providing value. Like I care that I think the content I put out is good. I don't care as much how it performs anymore. Um, but I do care that I'm like, okay, that felt like me. I enjoyed it. I feel like there was moments of honesty, moments of vulnerability, and uh, moments of like little wisdom nuggets that I've picked up. And I think that this is a good documentation of my life and my growth. I care about spending time with people I love. I care about cultivating a community that feels right. 
I care about having experiences, um, not for the sake of content, but for the sake of myself. Those are the things I care about. And the thing that I'm really trying to care about this year is taking care of my health. And that looks like a lot of different things. And that has been a huge focus of mine of like trying to take care of my mental health, my physical health, kind of like calm down, stress out less. These are the things I care about. And I think it's working. I think it's finally working after years of saying I want to care about different things. I finally feel it in my heart. And that makes me feel really good and proud, honestly. So that's the change. That's the shift. That's what I recognized during my break. Like I said, I care that things like this are in my videos because to me, this has value and sharing what I'm learning and going through is like the purpose of my channel for me to um, help other people navigate what they're going through and just like build that community of wisdom and kindness and understanding and vulnerability. That's what I care. Surprise, did y'all know I had a little garage? I, I don't really park in it because it's um, like not remote, so it takes a while. But what I'm gonna try to do is wrap Jordy's present. And it's gonna be quite hard because this is what I got him. He hasn't seen it. It's custom, it's a big deal. I have a friend whose husband was a pro surfer and now he makes custom boards for a living. And I had him make Jordy one, so. Jordy is in on it because I wanted it to be like what he wanted, but he hasn't seen it and he doesn't want to see it. So it's a complete surprise. This is it. Their last name is Pagan. So um, that's why it's his brand is Pagan. We're going to try to wrap it. I'm glad that it doesn't have the fins on it. So hopefully that should make it a lot easier to wrap because it's pretty flat. Also, fat. I uh, it's a baton twirling when I was maybe like six. Every time I have wrapping paper, I see how much I remember. officially golden hour in here. I have about two and a half hours of work to do and then I'm gonna freshen up, I got sweaty, and I will see you guys for date night. The spot we're going is called Valle and it looks incredible. So I'm excited to bring y'all along with me. It's been a couple hours of work, but I just, I have to interrupt my work schedule to show you the sunset outside. This is, <gasps> There it goes. There it goes. Every night, it's beautiful. It's different. It's lovely. <laughs> Low lighting, but here is my outfit for dinner. This is how I dressed up the same outfit. Oh, okay, you wanna come in? All right. I put on pearl earrings and I did a little like, oh, my hair's not washed kind of ponytail. And then I switched my flat boots for heeled boots, which it doesn't quite translate the same. A red lit for fun. I never do that, but that's that's how I'm dressing it up for dinner. And we're off and I'm excited. Ooh, I know you might break me if I say what's on my mind. And I know the risk I'm taking. See the SOB.